Hello and welcome back. Today, we are solving a beautiful geometry problem that looks difficult, but if we follow the basic geometry rules, it becomes easy to solve. We have a circle, and inside this circle we inscribe a triangle. The triangle has two equal sides of length 10 units each, and the third side has length 12 units. Here we need to find the radius of the circle. So first, let us consider this is the triangle, and we name it A, B, and C. Now, we draw a perpendicular from point A to the opposite side, B, C, and let the foot of the perpendicular be point D. By symmetry, this perpendicular divides line B, C into two equal parts. Since the total length of B, C is 12 units, now this side becomes 6 units, and this side also 6 units. So we have B, D equal D dash C, which is 6 units both. Now, here we want to find the length of this perpendicular A, D. For this, we use the Pythagoras theorem. So, by Pythagoras theorem, this hypotenuse square will be equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So, this will become our hypotenuse AB. Now, can you solve this? Let's solve this. AB whole square equal BD whole square plus AD whole square. Or, AD whole square equal AB whole square minus BD whole square. Now, substitute the value. This becomes AD whole square equal 10 square minus 6 square. AD whole square equal 100 minus 36. AD whole square equal 64. Now we take square root on both sides, and this becomes AD equal 8. Therefore, the length of the perpendicular AD equal 8. We now extend the perpendicular AD until it meets the circle at point E. Notice that this perpendicular divides BC into two equal segments, which means it must also pass through the center of the circle. Let's denote the center of the circle as O. Next, we want to determine the length of DE. To do this, we apply the chord rule. This rule states that if two chords intersect inside a circle, then the product of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the segments of the other chord. In our case, the two intersecting chords are AE and BC. So, according to the chord rule, we can write AD multiples DE equal BD multiplies DC. From the figure, AD equal 8, BD equal 6, DC equal 6, while DE is unknown, and we are going to find it. By substituting the values, we get 8 multiply DE equal 6 multiply 6. 8 multiply DE equal 36. Divide 8 both sides, we get DE equal 36 divide by 8. So the value of DE is 36 over 8. Now, observe that AE is a diameter of the circle. Therefore, to find the radius, we first calculate the diameter and then divide it by 2. AE equal AD plus DE. This becomes AE equal 8 plus 36 over 8. By simplification, it equal 25 divided by 2. Now we are going to find the radius. Radius denoted by R equal AE over 2. This becomes 25 over 2 divided by 2. R equal 25 over 4, which is equal to 6.25. And that is our required answer. I hope you find it helpful and enjoy it. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe our channel for more problem-solving strategies. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Good luck.